Okay, I have given the new GPT-40 data analyst the Spaceship Titanic Kaggle Challenge. She's a really interesting challenge. This is like a, a sci-fi version of the Titanic Challenge. And it's been working at it. We achieved that first round, we achieved 0.78%, give or take, both with logistic regression, random forest, and gradient boosting. But I have told it to do whatever it can to move the accuracy beyond 90%. So it's actually going to try uh, some stuff and it's going to do some hyperparameter search, it seems like. But while this is ongoing, I do want to uh, say that I download. So this, you can read about this actually. It's kind of complex, but some uh, passengers on the ship was actually disappeared or transported into another dimension. And we are trying to find with great accuracy what caused that, which data points or which passengers were most likely. So I've downloaded the data. Okay, I've downloaded the test.csv, train.csv, so it's already separated for us, and I've uploaded it to GPT. So right here, I uploaded the test.csv, train.csv, then I copied the overview entirely down till here, and I also copied the data down till here, and that is what I gave, and I explained that please solve this problem with the best accuracy as possible. So it's still ongoing. It had an error here, so it's trying again. So let's see what happens. By the way, if we take a look at the leaderboard for the Spaceship Titanic Challenge, the winner is currently situated at zero point uh, accuracy. And the next best accuracy is 0 0.82, actually. And 0 0.78 would put us, let me see, 0 0.2 accuracy that we have already achieved, actually puts us somewhere around 1,800 out of, I believe, 2,600 results. But now we just achieved 0 0.80. That puts somewhere in the top 800. And we are not going to stop, of course. I'm going to ask for it to try to improve this further. Okay, I asked it that please improve the accuracy even further. We need to achieve at least over 90%. If we were to achieve that, actually, that would put us that would put us in number two position. If you can achieve anything above 82, let's see. If you achieve anything above 82, then we'll be in the top 30, just like that. So let's see what happens. It's trying XG boost, which is a great, great, very fast algorithm. Okay, we got an error actually. If you get a keyboard interrupted error, and actually GPT accurately uh, understood that XG boost model took too long. I was interrupted. Actually, we, I would have been really interested in seeing how how this would have performed. But now we are going to actually reduce the estimators, and it's just going to make a quicker run at it. Let's see what happens. I mean, this if this, this were to run locally, I'd be very curious on. What would happen? Okay, it got 0 0.78. So we actually dropped in accuracy. Let's see. It's going to try now something else, stacking classifier. I would like to take a moment to talk about the benefits of becoming a patron. And some of you may know, in the last year and a half, I've spent 3,000 hours, over 300 uh, projects as a patron. You will have access to all the code files so you can get inspiration and iterate quickly. Another benefit is that you'll have access to all my courses. And my most recent and most proud one, the 1000X Masterclass, teaching how I, what I've learned on how to code fast and efficiently. Also the Streamlit course and the Fast API course. In my Patreon, I also have tiers in which you can connect with me one-on-one. -on -one. Check those out as well. It's uh, running it currently. Uh, unfortunately, the network timed out. We're going to have to try again. And it's making a plan. Use stacking, fine-tuned, final estim estimator. Let's see what happens. We're going to try the same approach. Okay, we got 0 0.79. Accuracy 79%, but now it's going to give it other considerations. Let's see what it will do. I'm going to say, yes, please go ahead and improve the accuracy. Now it is trying to excuse again. I think the previous one we tried got disappeared, unfortunately, due to network error. Let's see how this one works out. We ran into the uh, key burn corrupt again, meaning it's going to run a simplified version. So the execution environment timed out. Now it's trying with the uh, uh, less aggressive uh, settings. Uh, we got zero point. Okay, I'm asking, please try something else. Uh, make this go beyond 82. Consider carefully what you need to do. It says, given the current performance plateau around 79.80, we need a strategic pivot to push it beyond 82. Let's say, revisit feature engineering, advanced ensemble techniques, light GBM implementation. Okay, we got 0 0.77. Uh, 0 0.77. Let's try. I'm going to say, please try harder and more carefully. It is actually enhancing the feature engineering. Let's see what happens. Again, network error, so we're going to have to regenerate. And uh, I am using the data analyst right here. Uh, we timed out again. That's why I said, please use something other than XGBoost because the execution environment keeps timing out. It's going to try to support Rexer machine, logistic equation with regularization. Let's see. 
Yeah, I mean, I keep trying, but it's trying different things. We're timing out and stuff, so it's not super smooth sailing. But actually, I took a look at this again, and we did get 80.7. So I did say we're in the top 800, but I think I made a mistake. So if I, if you look at what we got here, 80, 87.5. 87.5 actually puts us in the top 350. I mean, that's incredible, out of 25. And we're still going. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to try a few more times. Try to break it. Try to make a break about 82. percent You know, last three, four times we are not being able to get any results back. But I'm going to try one last time, but hopefully this will be my last attempt. But we have already placed it in top 300, which is pretty incredible. So yeah, play around with it. Let's see what happens with this one. Yeah, unfortunately we continue to face execution challenges. Maybe maybe there is a limitation after some point. But in any case, we were able to achieve top 350 in the Spaceship Titanic Challenge. Thank you for watching.